What's up, you guys? Today, I'm coming at y'all with a nice, quick video. Uh, Ronnie from AR Brothers just gave me a call and told me the car is just about ready. So tomorrow is Sunday. We have an event that we're going to go to. We're taking the car down there. We're taking a few friends. We're going to have a good time. But before then, i got to put on my Mickey Thompsons. It's currently raining outside, so I can't really do it. He has the car at the shop. So I'm going to throw these at the back of my girl's Q50. And I also got right here my uh, this is my rear diffuser that my girlfriend got me if y'all didn't watch uh the video of the gift exchange and you know i gotta make sure i tune into that but another update on my life is uh we just finished the apartment so i moved in here we're already good to go i'm missing a few stuff but we're making it happen so i'll give you guys a quick walkthrough and then we'll throw these in the car and then meet you guys over there Okay, so we got the drag tires all in here, the rear diffusers in here. Uh, me and my girlfriend, we're going down to Ronnie AR Brothers down in Garfield. We're gonna uh, get all this stuff installed, cleaned up, and the car buttoned up for tomorrow, which tomorrow we gotta be up by 4 a.m. to be leaving by 4.30 because the rolling time for the VIP car show is at seven and we're far. We're like two hours and 20 minutes away. So I type you guys when we get to Ronnie, check out, show you guys the car. He did some stuff to it. He treated the paint and he did some. I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so we made it to AR Brothers. Look at that. Boys are working on it. We're gonna get the other side done. So this is the stock rear diffuser, kind of basic balls, all that. But now we got the fins, a more aggressive looking one. So it should be simple. There's a pin there, pin there, five screws, I believe, seven millimeters. That's it.
All right, you guys, so just like that, we saw the wicker boom. Now it looks more aggressive, looks nice and clean. Everything's tucked in. Make sure all the clips are in. If you guys follow at home, make sure you got them screws and everything back. You don't want this flying off or flexing on you when you're going real fast. Anyway, so now we got that done. Now we're going to take the drag wheels. We're going to take them to the other side. We're going to get them cleaned and installed. I'll show you guys how to do that. If you guys don't know how to put on a racing wheel, I'll show you guys. I got my torque wrench and everything ready to go. Let's go clean them up. Now we got the new diffuser on, old diffuser is out. Now we got the wheels all nice cleaned up. So a very important thing to do is watch for the rotation of the tire. So this tire rotates this way, which is gonna go on this side. All right, let's put it on. I'll show you guys how to do it. So this goes out to my Mopar people. Listen, if y'all don't got wheel locks, at least one set of wheel locks, and y'all SRT wheels, y'all slacking. I'm looking at you, Jonathan, all right? And all my Mopar friends that don't have any wheel locks. Y'all better get on this, man. So anyways, we're gonna take off the lock and we're gonna raise the car up. 